okay everybody welcome back to my channel i know again i'm in this like weird like talking through my steering wheel <laughs> setup but we have to do what we have to do right so i wanted to come and make a follow-up video to my paniculectomy video that i posted um, I told you in my last video that once I learned more about the paniculectomy process um, that I would come back and let you know what I've learned. So um, today I messaged my physician, well let's back up real quick. So what, January I had a consult with the plastic surgeon, a plastic surgeon Dr. Rim at Kaiser Permanente at Tyson's Corner. Uh, Virginia and in that consult he explained to me you know what the paniculectomy was um, and that I needed to get some documentations going showing that I've had issues or whatever in order to get the surgery um, so from there till now today is March 24th so a few months I have been going to my primary care physician and letting her know what's going on with my stomach. I've shown pictures of what's going on with my stomach and um, I've tried creams on my own before I went to her and I've tried creams that she actually prescribed that hasn't worked or you know, whatever. So I have some documentation. I don't have like extensive documentation, but I do have some documentation of what's going on um, with my body. So today I sent him an email, um, let him know, you know, that I've done this documentation. I just wanted to know, in my email I told him, I was like, I just wanna know um, how long I'm supposed to be doing this documentation before I'm able to come back and speak about the next steps. Um, I had some questions about the paniculectomy because I've tried to look online um, to find like some videos, surgery videos on the paniculectomy and I really couldn't find paniculectomy videos I found tummy tuck videos or I find videos that are under like when I google paniculectomy it'll give me videos but then it's titled tummy tuck and tummy tuck and paniculectomy are two different things so I was a little concerned because I couldn't find the videos that I was looking for I kept finding tummy tuck videos and they're not the same and in my last video, I explained to you the difference between the two. But really quick, I'll just say, I'll just tell you, a paniculectomy is in the um, stern definition. It is the removal of the excess skin that hangs below your belly button. So any excess skin below your belly button that hangs, it's the removal of that skin, and that's what a paniculectomy is. Tummy tuck is where they actually go above your belly button, and they pull all that skin, remove all that excess skin down, as well as lift up your. Um, lift up your stomach to get to the fascia I think is what it's called and they tighten the uh, tighten your muscles um, and then they pull your skin down and you have a flat stomach they replace the belly button as well uh, which makes it the cosmetic portion of this surgery because they have to re cosmetically replace your belly button that's a tummy tuck that's the difference between the two so when I went and had my consult with him today he asked me basically like has anything changed and I explained to him nothing's changed it's the same thing same you know little rashes and um, same embarrassments that I have on my stomach and you know same old same old nothing's changed and he had, had me stand up he did the same like like he measurements to see where my stomach hang um, he you know physically grabbed it to see how low it hanged and had me lay down so he could look at it and then he started explaining to me more about the paniculectomy he was like you know did we talk about the paniculectomy I was like yeah you talked about it just a little bit um and you know not in depth though so he went and drew a picture on a board um of the paniculectomy and it was basically just a diagram showing me he put like an x and then he was like, all the all this under here, underneath the X, and it, he just basically did like a U to show the portion of my stomach that's below my belly button. Um, he says, this is a paniculectomy, we'll remove all of that skin underneath um, that's below your belly button. He was like, the incision is usually at your pubic, um, it's, a, it's a low incision at your pubic bone. We will remove, um, we'll remove the belly button, excuse me, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's a, it's an incision at your pubic bone and we will remove that excess skin and then pull your stomach back down to your pubic bone and you know sew you back up or staple you or whatever and he had mentioned that in california kaiser which i have seen this is this is the little bit of research that i was able to find out 
at the Kaisers in California, they offer this um, thing called fee for service, which some of you may or may not know or heard about in just insurance in the general. And that's where you go in for paniculectomy and for a little bit more, like $2,000 more, they will go ahead and do a full tummy tuck for you with the tightening and, and get rid of all the excess skin at the top. But Kaiser over here in the Mid-Atlantic States does not offer that and they've then the physicians have asked for this service because not only will they'll make not only will they make extra money but it's also doing a service to us as patients because most patients would like to be able to do that you know just pay two thousand dollars and you're able to go ahead and get everything done tighten you know everything the way you want it's better you know better satisfactory for the patient he told me as of right now nothing's happened they, they don't he doesn't he's not sure why they're not able to do that yet um but they haven't been approved for it so by law they are not allowed to do any cosmetic surgery on insurance at kaiser permanente so I, but he explained to me um that for his patients he will if you know he if they choose he will go above the belly button and he showed me on a diagram he'll go above the belly button and he'll remove all of the skin that's at the top of your belly button um, that's above your belly button all that loose skin like for me i have stretch marks and a lot of loose skin up there that you won't be able to get rid of without surgery because it is your muscles aren't tightening you know it's, it's, it's hard to get rid of that that uh skin he told me that he will remove that um however if he removes that you will no longer have a belly button and i was a little thrown back because i'm like you know just the thought of not having one is just kind of weird to me because i've always had a belly button right um but i did see in my research uh before that i did see people who didn't have a belly button and i wasn't exactly sure why they didn't have a belly button but then once he explained to me what was going on and how that happens i i started to make more sense to me okay this is probably what happened with this patient this is probably why they don't have a belly button and i asked them i was like okay well how many of your patients actually opt to have that done versus keeping their belly button and he was like every last one of them will prefer to have a flatter stomach um with you know their all their loose skin gone than to have a belly button so he laid me down and he pulled my stomach at the top and like pulled all my stomach down to see you know if it was even worth me having like if, if he got rid of that skin how flat my stomach would be if my stomach would be flat and he was like yeah if we did that surgery you, you know you would have a flat stomach and you know you just wouldn't have a belly button so i did some thinking and i actually am going to opt to have all of my skin removed and just remove my belly button and i know for some that might be a shocker you know and i know people are going to have their own opinions and to each its own for me my thinking my logic behind it is my belly button serves no purpose like it's there it serves no purpose other than me having to clean that shit out. Like, that's the only thing my belly button's purpose is, is to catch lint or whatever. Um, but it really has no no medical purpose for uh, on our body. It's just there. And um, I feel like if and when and after the surgery is done, if for some reason I do feel subconscious about it, I could always get a tattoo um, in the place of my belly button. There's like things I can do to, you know, make myself feel better about not having one. Um, I'm also, a, you know, feel like I probably, it'll take me a long time to be able to afford to get a tummy tuck. I don't want to get the skin removed and then have to go back and get another surgery done on top of that to do something that I could have got done all in one sweep. So um, I'm planning on, you know, getting that full I don't even know what you call it. I don't know. I don't know what the word for it. I don't know if it's a tummy tuck. It's not. I don't know what it's called. Um, and just in case you have, and just in case you're wondering, he told me if he was to do like the belly, like the belly button transformation, like remove moving it and replacing it, that's cosmetic. That's the part that Kaiser won't pay for. That's considered cosmetic surgery. But if they remove the belly button and they're not like reconstructing anything, there's no cosmetic surgery involved. It's not cosmetic. Um, it's just like an extended paniculectomy. That's what I'm going to call it. So that's what I'm planning on doing. He uh, sent my information to the schedulers. And within one to two weeks, I should be getting a call from 
the uh, plastic surgery schedulers to actually schedule my surgery. So when I get that call, you know um, you will be one of the first that I go ahead and let know you let let you know my date and everything that I've learned uh, from that point on. But I did just want to come and give y'all an update on this surgery and what I've learned. Um, hopefully this will help somebody because like I said when I was doing my research it was kind of confusing why people had no belly like some people had no belly buttons and people were talking about belly buttons being removed and not being removed and you know all this now mind you this is totally optional you don't have to go for the full extended paniculectomy and get that removed and not every surgeon offers that some surgeons don't offer it mine just happens to offer it so um, remember it's always up to you it's your body it's your life you do what you want with your body, what's going to make you feel good, and, you know, stay true to yourself, and that's what I'm doing. So, I hope everyone has a good day. Don't ever let anybody put you down and make you feel bad about your choices in life, because it's your life. You have to live it, and you have to learn from your own choices, mistakes, you know. This is what we're here for. So, again, I love everybody. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you in my next one when I get my surgery day. Bye.